Hi, this is Marty and welcome back for another video. All right. Um, so for all you self typers and uh, typing other people, people, <laughs> all right. Uh, introverted, extroverted intuition. All right. Introverted, extroverted. All right. So. <laughs> oh, man. Say, for example, you're walking down the street, all right, and you see uh, a plot of land, okay, and you've lived in the neighborhood for who knows how long, right? It's kind of irrelevant, but you know enough, right? Actually, we can, actually, we can make it difficult, more difficult, and uh, say that you drove into a new city and you, are, uh, you have money to invest, a business to build, you don't know what to do, and, well, you see a plot of land in a city that you are not very familiar with. Okay. So there's over here, there's a mall, okay, and over here there's a school, right, all right, and, you know, there's just normal areas of development, okay? All right. When you look at that plot of land, that is the object. Extroverted intuition. Are you going to know what to do with that plot of land when you look at it? If the answer is yes, that's extroverted intuition. If the answer is no, that's introverted intuition. I'm going to give another example. Steve Jobs. I phone. Chicken or the egg? The solution one, two, product. What came first? Phones were already out. And Steve Jobs is the only one that pioneered the advancement of the Walkman, the Walkman, the advancement of playing music, iTunes, apps, everything. Steve Jobs in the iPhone is introverted intuition or extroverted intuition? The chicken or the egg theory? Was it the solution Steve Jobs was looking for, or the product? Your answer is solution equal to new design. He did not design the product and then fit the solution he said, I want the solution, fit the product, and deliver my solution. That is subjective, introverted intuition in knowing that this solution is what is going to change the world. Extroverted intuition is the ability 
to see that plot of land, this is uh, <laughs> intuition, extroverted. Extroverted intuition has the ability to see the object, which is the land, and see the object for what will be good for all the object. The extroverted intuitive person will not see inside happy people if this is apartments. The extroverted intuitive type will just know that that plot of land will make the community and the extroverted intuitive type very successful if he or she builds apartments there. The extroverted intuitive is looking at the entire object, everything, and is not assimilating any of the subjective emotional impact of creating the apartments on the land to self. It's not existing, not happening. When Steve Jobs created the iPhone, it was the solution and the subjective view of the introverted intuitive type, which Steve Jobs is and was, that created the new design of the iPhone. It was not the product. It was the solution. And that is taking the product, the iPhone, cracking it open per se, and what the object is going to deliver to Steve Jobs, because he was the first one to use the iPhone, he was the first one to create the solutions that the iPhone would bring about and, and the solving of problems that the current phones weren't doing. The object is cracked open the solution, the apps, how it functions, the first one to actually deliver the internet to your hand is what introverted intuition is and looks like. This is extroverted intuition. For example, a girl looking in the mirror, she thinks of doing microblading for her eyebrows. She goes to the esthetician and the esthetician gives an example of what she sees as it relates to what she should have. The extroverted intuitive esthetician is not going to be able to listen to the client as well as the introverted intuitive type, meaning both estheticians are going to want to change the appearance of the person's face because nothing does it more than eyebrows. Latitude on that, but it's pretty much true, especially microblading. The intuitive introverted esthetician is going to take the eyebrows and what it represents to the client and be able to deliver the eyebrows closest or closer to the vision of the client versus the extroverted intuitive type who is going to draw the eyebrows based on what he or she, she basically the microblader, esthetician is seeing on social media 
not taking into account the feelings or emotions or thoughts or whatever of the client who's hearing what type of eyebrows the esthetician is going to put on her face. Make sense? A guy who is looking to buy a car and walks onto the showroom floor, the extroverted, intuitive type salesperson is going to take the objective view and push that popular car on to the client. The introverted, intuitive salesperson is going to see the benefits of the car on the client and see if there's a match, even if they're the same car. That's two different ways to sell the same person the same car. Does that make sense? Introverted versus extroverted intuition. Those are examples. Let the comments, okay? I hope I didn't go like that. I don't think I did. I'm tired, but all right. This is Marty, and we'll see you in the next video.